Hey guys, Big John with J Custom Builds. Welcome to the channel. Woo, it's hot today, guys. It was like uh, 89 or 90 yesterday here in the Bay Area. There's a little breeze, but it's still, I'm in the shop and it was all locked up and it's hot. So anyways, now that I got the fall away done, I'm going to get the caliper back on the front wheel. And then I'm going to assemble the front, all the headlighting, all the lighting and everything, the uh, light bar on the front, get everything reconnected, run the clutch cable and the throttle and idle cables, get all the control switches on there, get the master cylinder on there and get the grips on there and then the levers and the mirrors. So I'm going to do the brake caliper and the lighting first. After I'm done with that, then I'm going to get on all the control switches and everything that goes on the handlebars. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and put all the new plugs and wires in it. I'm going to fill the uh, engine up, fill the tranny up with oil. And then we're going to start this girl. So let's get going. Let's get this girl on there really quick. Put the brakes in there. And they fit perfect. And this goes like that. I'm going to get the Loctite and the torque wrench. You know what's funny? I love, I love Frenchies, right? I don't know if you guys know, but we got a new Frenchie. I uh, actually posted him on uh, on Facebook and on, uh, in, I mean, uh, YouTube. So I'm putting blue Loctite on here. And I am gonna torque these to 35 pounds. So these go on pretty easy. You could just put them on there like that with your hand and then, <clears throat> man, these calipers look pretty good after you go through them. You know, it's my brother-in-law's bike. You know, I want his, of course, anybody's bike. Any bike I build, I always make sure that I very thorough on everything because to me safety is more important than anything so <clears throat> so i'm gonna go 35 on these let's go 35 pounds on this Thirty-five pounds. Let's do the top one first. Thirty-five. Hold on, guys. Picture time with the puppies. Loki has not been wanting to relax. And he is in full relaxed mode right now. I don't like that thing, but it was on his bike and it's on there now and it's torqued. And so we'll just use that to keep that line there. And I'm gonna get this which is leaking a little bit. Get this. Let's get this back in there too. Okay. Get and tighten that up. that too much all right so let me uh, get a clean rag now and wipe all that stuff down I love this 1903 spray this stuff's my favorite so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it on the rag and I'm gonna wipe the fender wipe the forks down 
Okay, so this is gonna go like this. It's gonna get tied into there. And then this wraps around in there because it's gonna go with this, but I wanna clean this little thing up really quick before I put it on. Okay, so that's all on there now. 13 sixteenths. Front wheels torqued. What's hitting? Ah, the rear brake. It's got to wear too new. So hey guys, I cleaned up all the uh, the side covers and getting ready to paint this. I got most of the stuff in. I got these little guys in for his saddlebag brackets. And I just got all these new uh, little bushings. I didn't just get these, but I just cleaned the bolts up, cleaned the washers up and all that. And I cleaned the... Uh, front headlight bezel i cleaned these guys up right here really really good i'm going to change all the lights out um this was pretty dirty it was pretty bad so i got the following done today and i'm going to start assembling um this so i just want to show you guys what i got going on right now uh, i worked on the following earlier and then i spent the last two hours cleaning parts uh, cleaning bolts and uh, getting all the parts together getting ready to paint that so I can put everything back on the bike I want to try to get it delivered to my brother-in-law by next weekend so other than that you guys stand by I'm going to be getting back with you guys here in a sec hey guys how you guys doing big John with Jake custom build so it's Tuesday uh, the 14th and I've been coming out here trying to come out here every day yesterday was my uh Yesterday was my Saturday, so I came out here and tinkered with my brother-in-law's uh, soft tail. And uh, I spent, uh, I did the follow-up on it, and then I spent a couple of hours, a um, few hours actually cleaning up uh, all his chrome. Um, the chrome really needed some cleaning, and so I cleaned it up pretty good. And uh, now I'm just kind of, I started just mocking everything yesterday, and then I, everything fell back together pretty good. I wasn't recording. I just kind of wanted to just, you know, do my thing, take my time. And, and, uh, so I'll show you guys where I'm at right now. So I have not painted the, uh, reservoir for the top, right? So what I've done so far is I started cleaning up all the, uh, the chrome and, uh, I took everything apart. So it took me a while to, um, to get the, the headlight lined up and everything. And uh, I got new lights for these, as I mentioned before. I think I'm going to put smoked on there for his, get him a smoked here as well. But I'll see what he wants to do first. I think I have some smoke lenses for this, but not for that. So I'm going LED all up here. Got everything connected. Um, got all that connected back in there. Connecting the, the wires as I go. And, you know, it's, it's coming out pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I um, cleaned these up yesterday really good. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. Those are actually stainless steel. And then I actually cleaned up the little spacers that go in there because those were pretty dirty. And I started plugging stuff in already. So yeah, so that's where we're at right now. Um, she's coming along. She's coming along pretty good. And so today's my birthday. So I'm really not going to spend a whole lot of time doing this i'm going to pick up the wife at 12. it's 10 30 now so in an hour and a half so i'll tinker with this for another 30 minutes or so and uh i'll probably get the lights on it right now since i'm gonna take those out and then uh i'll show you guys what i'm actually putting in it so let's uh go from here This 
Baby plugged in. I normally wouldn't put this on until I actually checked to make sure the to make sure that the uh, connection is good. But if I have any problems with it, I'll take it off. supposed to do that guys hmm Back off. it's not supposed to do that I don't know why it's doing that it's crazy but we'll figure it out we will figure it out so what happens when you put these aftermarket lights in things don't always line up but there's a reason why it came with a back plate but it's not it's not fitting inside of there i mean it it fits in there but it's supposed to be a lot more solid this plate is supposed to keep it keep it on there tight so it doesn't move around but it's not doing that, so. Mm. Turn you guys off for a second until I figure this out. Hey guys, I uh, was working on this uh, light today and it took me a couple hours, man. Sometimes you have to like modify stuff. And this is, it said this was for a soft tail, but this is like actually sticking out a little bit. I could not get it on there without the adapter that they gave me. So I'm gonna see if I could find a bigger bezel or maybe find a, like a half visor. I don't know, but unfortunately that's what I had to do to get this light on there, so. Yeah, anyways, just tightening everything up now. <clears throat> Again, you don't wanna, you don't wanna go too tight on some of this stuff. It'll tell you when it's good and you should stop. But anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys um i actually got the ones that go on the sides Let's see if you guys can get a better look i actually got these two that actually go right inside of there like that because he's got the old, uh, old uh candlescent i believe that's what they're called and the, the front one was a hol halogen and these are of course led they're black, just like he wanted them. So I think the black and chrome accent looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I think that actually looks pretty good, huh? You can get a better, yeah, there you go with the bars and and everything, but that's kind of where it's at right now. So I'm gonna go out to dinner with the fam here in a minute. I struggled with that light today, trying to figure it out. That's one of the, the first times I've gotten one of those man it it came with all kinds of different brackets and mounts and it would not fit inside of the uh the headlight mount to the chrome cover so i had to do some drilling 
because what happened was without the mount, the headlight set in, right? Like it's supposed to, but it wasn't stable. It was just wobbling. So the only way to get it to mount properly without any play or any looseness or anything, I had no choice but to put the mount that came with it. And this is the mount that comes for, this was all assembled with springs and everything. This is the main bracket that goes for like the, uh, street lights so this came with springs and everything of course this wasn't going to work but the mount that was attached to this mounted on there but the holes wouldn't line up so i had to re-drill some holes i had to re-tap some holes i had to shave some of the ends off of that bracket because they were sticking out too wide to get the uh the actual eye ring on there so that's where we're at right now and uh i go back to work tomorrow so you know, I just wanted to try to get as much of this done as I could because I've been wanting to give the bike to my brother-in-law. I want to ride it for a little bit, make sure the, the follow-away and everything is good, the wheels are good. You know, cruise it around town for a little bit, take it on the highway, just test it completely, brakes, throttle, idle, make sure the battery stay in charge, make sure there's no oil leaks or anything in it. Uh, just make sure that it's running in tip-top shape, tip-top condition before I take it back to my brother. So anyways, that's kind of where I'm at right now. As soon as I get this, this on there and get all the throttle cables and everything back on, I already torqued the front wheel. I just have to adjust the rear wheel. The nut actually does get torqued, but I have to align the rear wheel first. So that's the reason why I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna align the rear wheel. I just wanted to get the front done, get the fall away done and all that stuff. So. We're looking good, man. The bike's looking good. I think it's coming out great. And um, we'll just uh, we'll just go from there. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll get back on the bike. Um, I get off work at 6, 6 15, 6 30. I get home around quarter to seven, seven. And I'm exhausted when I get home. Damn, Popeyes. I'm exhausted when I get home. I know, I know. But, uh, I'm going to try to knock it out. So I'm going to spend, you know, maybe not every day after work this week, but a couple of days after work, a couple hours, maybe an hour a day, just trying to get it wrapped up, not burn myself out and just try to get the bike back to him. So other than that, you guys, uh, you guys take care, have a great evening. I hope wish you guys a great week and, uh, always remember to ride safe, take care of everything you do and God bless. So now I'm going to, I'm going to actually work on these lights here. I got the main light in. Now I'm going to work on the, uh, these you just gotta separate and pull back like that. And they just come out and you get rid of these. I believe these are the same we're not going to need to use these because we already have these in there. And then that goes like that, and like that. And that goes like that. And the little nut came off. A lot easier if you just use a screwdriver and you hold it with your thumb and it's going right in. Man, that looks really nice. And then these guys right here. I wanted to put oh, LEDs on here for them, but I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I see. 
see. It goes on the bottom. Ah, that's why. Let me fix this. are some little farters wow stinkies you guys are some stinky boys it's better outside than in here Ooh. oh man these are coming out nice <clears throat> so gotta pay attention how these go see how this little it has these on the sides right here the new ones have these too but they're not as deep, you know, as the stock. So you pull this off each side and you wiggle it off and you take this off. We're not gonna use these again. And what I like about these is they come with the wiring. If you have to, uh, you know, change the wiring up on here, but since these are actually the same, so what I'm gonna do is, the red is the power, right? So I want it to go on just like that because the black is the ground and the black is the ground here too. So I'm gonna pull this off. I didn't pay attention when I took the last one off. This goes like this. So it goes like this and it locks in and you want this part on the bottom, right? And then it's got the DOT on the top. And it goes just like that, right? This actually goes facing up and it locks into that right there. Like that. And it's got a tooth on the bottom that fits right there. And if you look down here, you can see it. Not able to move the camera right now. And then you snap this over just like that and you want to line that up again just like that and it locks in so where you can't spin it see i can't spin it and then i'm gonna get the screwdriver and tighten that up and you want to tighten it up to where this bottom screw this opening right here is center on the light isn't the best tip on my screwdriver but you guys get the gist so there it is there is the new lights the new block lights on Jesse's bike I think that looks amazing it looks way better than it did before so let me go ahead and hang on to all these wires it's nice to keep all these just in case you got extra connectors, got all this new stuff for the headlight if you wanted to change the wiring, but there's no need. So I'll throw this all in my electrical, my electrical box. And uh, I started painting this yesterday. I got semi-gloss, the POR15, and it's coming out okay. Like I said, it's not all the way dry. I am far from a professional painter, but I think this looks much better than it did before. So I think it's coming out great. It'll be dry tomorrow and I'll go ahead and install it. And then that way I can put all the hand controls on tomorrow. What do you guys think? That looks pretty good, huh? I think it looks great. Like I said, all I gotta do is wait for this guy to dry. And then once it's dry, fully dry, I could go ahead and slap it on and uh, get everything going. I'm gonna get these back on, get the oil changed out, get the exhaust back on. I got the new gaskets in, where'd they go? 
it's the style of Screaming Eagle that it had. I don't like the other style, so I could put the exhaust back on, do the oil change on it, tighten up the rear wheel, and uh, torque it, and get this girl started. Slap the battery in, check all the, the lights. Can't wait to get it going, man. I'm excited. So I should be getting it together real soon.